So I'm about to do something today that nobody has ever done before. I'm gonna buy billboards for my dropshipping website. What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Rich, back at it with another video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So we always hear about, you know, dropship advertising, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. I talk about influencers a lot, but nobody talks about billboard advertising. Now it makes sense why it's not talked about a lot. It's hard to get somebody to take action on the billboard. Unlike Facebook ads, Instagram ads, where you could put the link and the customer could click the link and go to your website. With billboard advertising, it's kind of hard and extremely dangerous for somebody to pull out their phone, type in your website as the billboard is showing as they're driving. So very dangerous and it's understood why it's not talked about a lot as the best marketing method for your money. Now obviously the main goal for billboard advertising is awareness. That's why you see a lot of movies and TV shows because they want you to become aware of what's coming out. So I don't think for me as a website owner that this is gonna be the best bang for my buck in marketing, but I'm gonna take the risk because I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and I'm super excited. So you would think it's really, really expensive to rent a billboard and it is especially if you're renting it for the whole month. But I found some self-service digital billboard companies where you can basically rent out the billboards as much as you can in eight second increments. So these are mainly digital billboards and you can basically buy as much space in those eight seconds. So every eight seconds it's moving on to another ad. So this is a much better method for billboard advertising because I don't have to risk a lot of my money to rent out the whole billboard for the whole month. So let's get into what's gonna be the drop shipping product for this billboard. Now for those of you that didn't see one of my previous YouTube videos where I drop shipped five different websites in one day, this is one of my most successful products in that video simply because I made a funny ad which can make it go viral really fast. Now I dropped that video in November and I see all you guys in the comments talking about it snowing in November, how I should've sold that product in December and all that stuff. I just wanna let you guys know that I heard you and it's December right now, and that is gonna be the dropshipping product for this billboard. So unlike the exact ad that I created for that YouTube video where I said Pornhub about to be lit, I'm not gonna do anything like that for this billboard ad simply because I don't want kids seeing this. Because unlike Instagram where you can control who the target audience will be, I can't control who sees this ad. So I don't want little kids in the back of their parents' car seeing anything about porn. So I'm gonna try to keep this as PG as possible to where an only a mature person can understand what the ad is trying to talk about. Now since the goal of my billboard ad is to get people to go to my website, I only have eight seconds of their attention. So I have to make the website super easy to remember. So I spent a whole bunch of time looking for easy to remember domains and the domain that I found is phoneholderusa.com. So what I'm gonna do now is create the ad first and then create the website. So about the ad, so I'm gonna create the ad on Canva and then I'm gonna to have to send it to someone on Fiverr to kind of resize it to the exact dimensions for the billboards. Because for the digital billboards, you have to make it the exact size and dimensions and the pixels have to be the exact same as the billboard requires. So unlike you know Facebook and Instagram ads where you could just upload any pictures for an ad, I have to make sure that this is super pixelated to where the billboard actually approves the ad. And it's really complicated because each billboard is different. So I'm just gonna create it myself and then send someone on Fiverr to do the final edits to make it the exact size that the billboard requires. So once that's all done, I'll then select the billboards that I want to buy, I'll launch, and then I'll go check them out myself in person. So with all that being said, let's get straight to it.
right, so the company I'm gonna be using is called Blip Billboards, and as you can see, the website is really, really cool. They have billboards ranging from everywhere across the country, from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. So depending on where you're from, you might be able to find a billboard that's not too far from where you live. So uh, what I'm gonna do is type in Los Angeles since I'm in LA. And as you can see, LA has a lot of billboards with a lot of average daily views. And it makes sense, there's a lot of people in LA. And I feel like LA has the worst traffic in the world, to be honest. So uh, the process goes like this. You just select the billboard, then you uh, select your budget, and then select the time, and then you'll upload the artwork for them to review it. Now to mention the artwork, as I mentioned earlier, it has to be exact size, dimension, and the pixels that they require. And it's really confusing because a lot of them, each billboard is different. So you see this one is 7x2 by 208 and this one is 7x2 by 384. And every single billboard is different, so it's really confusing. That's why I recommend if you're gonna do this, to send it to someone on Fiverr to kind of make it the exact size and dimensions that you need. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna choose a billboard or a couple of billboards to be honest, and then choose the budget and then upload the artwork and then wait for their review process. And I'll update you guys when they approve. So see you guys later. So the billboard ads just got approved right now. So I'm about to go check them out. So let's do it. Right there. <laughs> November is over, y'all. No cars here. Wow. Dang, it's gone like that. That was quick. So here's a better look on the ad. <laughs> look at all these cars. All right, now there's cars. Look at my ad up there. Ah, it's too late. I already changed. All right, we got stoplight right there. Hopefully my ad comes as they drive through. Come on. Let's see if we get a couple sales from this. Okay, here it is, here it is. And they're still at the red light. So, as I mentioned earlier, it's hard to get people to take action on a billboard ad. For example, all these people, that they're driving, but they only have eight seconds to see the ad, and then they'll have to remember the website and take out their phone and type in the website. So, not really a good play for marketing for the best bang for your buck. But it is fun though to see your ad pop up on here. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> Look at all these cars. Phoneholderusa.com Phoneholderusa.com My ad's up there. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a, uh, I'm renting an ad. Watch, I'll show you. I'll show you. It's, it, I'll show you when it comes up, watch. It's like every like minute or so. There it is right there. It's right there, look. It's up. Oh, you do that. <laughs> Did you see? So this is the second ad right there. Bunch of traffic pulling up. Phoneholderusa.com. Phoneholderusa.com. So this is a super good location actually. SpaceX is right there. That's an actual rocket ship right there. So that rocket ship is Falcon 9. Literally a rocket ship right here. So this is a much better location, honestly, for the ad. And um, let me see if it shows again. There we go. Phoneholderusa.com. So yeah, not really a good method for marketing because this literally is like going in like five seconds and uh everybody's just driving through it so if you want to waste your money pay for billboard ads so as you can see billboard is not really a good option for marketing uh especially if you're trying to get people to go to your website but if you want to waste money it is a good experience to see your brand or whatever you want to put up there up there on the billboard so you could put your instagram or you know your social media page and see it but um not really a good ad the marketing method to get people to take action as you can see this ad is being displayed multiple times and uh i doubt people are pulling out their phones to go to the website for anything so obviously the main goal for a billboard is to have awareness that's why you see movies and tv shows but you 
trying to sell something like this, not really a good method. But whatever it is that you're doing, if you're just trying to build awareness, then it's a good method. So I'm gonna give it this whole day. Hopefully we get some sales. This ad keeps getting displayed, which is good. It's a pretty good location. Traffic is increasing. So we'll give us a time and hopefully we get some sales. But until then, we'll see. So it's been a little over 24 hours since I first launched a billboard ads. I gave the customer about a full day to hopefully go home and type in phoneholderusa.com and hopefully get some orders. So the results are in and I wish I could say that this was a success, but that's not the truth. To be honest, we got zero sales. So zero dollars total sales as you can see, but four people went to the website. So we got four visitors and today we got three visitors. So I'm not even running any ads today. It stopped yesterday at like 6 p.m. So I guess we got something, but obviously this was a terrible investment. In total, I spent a little over $100 for the billboard ad. So that's not too much considering that it's billboard advertising, but uh, this was not a success. And uh, we learned that billboard advertising is not the way for dropshipping marketing. And uh, pretty much it's not the best marketing strategy. It's probably the worst marketing strategy to use if you're trying to get people to go to your website. But if you have a business that's just trying to raise awareness, then it's a pretty good method for you to do. And I recommend that you do it this way, the way I did by just going through a self-service billboard advertising company like Blip Billboards. That way you don't have to risk a lot of money by paying for the whole billboard for the whole month. So all in all, I'm really glad I did this. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, you guys, and I was super excited about it. And it's always good to venture out and try different things. That way you can discover different methods and strategies that work, which leads to more and more success in whatever you're doing. So I hope you guys got some value from this video. And before I go, you know, I gotta leave all you future millionaires out there watching this with a quote. And that quote is, at the end of our lives, the only things we regret are the chances that we don't take. So make sure you're going out and taking chances. And until then, my friends, be great.